Hello everyone. So as all, some of you had been facing trouble getting the Autodesk Fusion 360 student version for free. So I will try my UTSA email address to see if I can um, activate the student version of the Autodesk Fusion 360. So for this purpose, I'll start with the browser. Um, for this, uh, today I'm using Google Chrome. So I'm gonna type Autodesk Fusion 360 student. And then I'm gonna click the first link that, that came up. Now here I will click the get started button. So first I'm going to click get started. It took me to a sign in page. This is where I will click create account and then country United States. Educational role will be student. Institution type will be university post-secondary. I'll put my birthday and click next. This page came up, so I'm gonna type my first name, last name, email address, I'm gonna use my UTSA email address. Confirm the same email address again. Password will be any password that you can choose. There are a few links. Agree to the terms, create account. It says verification required. So um, I will go ahead and verify that email. I'm verifying that email from my phone. So I don't have to go away from this page because there's an option that says already verified continue. So I'm gonna click verify email from my phone. So I just had to sign up again uh, using the same email address and password I chose. And now it says account verified. Um, once that's done, I'm gonna click continue and it says just one more step. So name of educational institution, I'll put the University of Texas at San Antonio. So let's see if that comes up. It does come up. There are two options. So I think either one should work. Um, let's just quit this one. Area of study will put architecture, engineering, and construction. Enrolled from August 2020, graduate in, let's just say July or um, May 2024. Um, Click next. It says it, your account is now updated to access the Autodesk education community. Click continue. And I don't know what happened, but it, I'm going to reload this page. Okay. So nothing is coming up here. So what I'll try to do is just 
go into Autodesk Fusion 360 again. Go to that same page. It says already have educational access, sign in. So I'm gonna sign in now. Same email address, same password for that email address. I don't want to protect my account right now, so I'll quick remind me later. Now I think I am signed in, so it says hi Salman, so they recognize me. I'm gonna click Fusion 360 here, which is right, if you scroll a little bit down, it's right here. I'll click get started. Um, country, institution type, university, birth, day and year. I'll click verify. that works so it says you're verified then click get autodesk software hopefully something comes up here okay it says your educational access to autodesk products is valid through august 25th 2021 now it says choose a product below i'm going to click get product and then access it says thank you for downloading Fusion 360. Also, it says if your download does not begin automatically, please try again. But it did download automatically, so I'm just going to open the file. in the process if you have any confusion or any place where you got stuck try to rewind the video and try to follow my steps exactly because if you're not opting for the educational license rather you're trying to get the autodesk fusion 360 just from your personal account using your personal email address that might not just work and that might require verifications. So it's better to just use your ABC123 at my.utsa.edu email address uh, for downloading the software. Another thing to keep in mind is that it's easier to verify .edu email addresses because those are usually associated with the educational institutions and Autodesk, as we could see before, Autodesk automatically populated that your educational institution's name. So you could select from a drop down list. That means UTSA is already listed in their list of institutions. So as long as you use your UTSA email address to download the software, you should have a full educational license for one year it is taking some time to set up but let's just wait until it is done after you open the file uh, it will take some time to do the setup on your computer and here i would recommend you go into your download folder and move that uh, application file to somewhere safe um, or copy the application file to somewhere safe so that later on you can just run it from your computer however after the setup is done you will be able to see um, icon on your desktop that says Autodesk Fusion 360 I recommend you go to the start menu and type Autodesk Fusion 360 when this application comes up, click run as administrator. You might have to sign in with the same email address and password again to um, log into the Autodesk server so that your Fusion 360 can load on your computer. Because I have already signed in using on this computer, so I, I don't think it will ask for me to sign in again. Um, on this instance, but it might ask you to sign in again. 
And so just use the same email address and password that you used before. And then this interface should load. Uh, once this interface is loaded, you can just try a few things to see if it's actually working. I'm gonna just click sketch and create a very basic uh, sketch of a circle. And then I'm gonna extrude it to make it a cylinder. Let me pull it down a little, pull it up a little bit more. Uh, click join, click OK. I'm going to also go to simulation and see if the simulation is working because the simulation is usually done in the cloud. So it's important that you check your simulation as well to see if it's um, if it's connected or if your um, version is connected to the server. I'm going to choose study materials. I'm going to choose constraints. Uh, however, these steps are not part of the Autodesk Fusion 360 setup. These are just checks to make sure that your setup was complete and it was, um, it has all the access that it needs. Now pre-check says the setup is ready to be solved. So I'm going to just click, uh, solve one study, name it test two, save it there, and then it's going for the simulation in the cloud. We can see the status bar here, and once that's complete, the simulation will have completed on cloud. So it says complete. So we're just going to close that dialog box and also close this one and check different things like stress, displacement, reaction force, strain, all these different things. Um, so it seems like it ran perfectly and the setup was complete. So I believe if you follow the video and follow all the steps, you should be able to complete this installation um, pretty easily using and also get the educational license.